Thrones. Like, yeah, yeah. This guy approaches you. What happens? <laughs> that old man, dude. That guy's a weirdo. <laughs> so to describe this dude a little bit, like he's like, oh, he's just like that old guy at the gym. That's like, you just tell he gets like a pudgy talking to the cute little like you know like girls in her twenties. Like, oh, you go to you go to college. Yeah, it's no, like, he literally he's just a just slant. You just tell he's just he's thinking of all these little things in his mind, but he's just being really like weird. The only yeah. way I can describe it. Weird. Like, yeah. Your creepy uncle who's single in his creepy late, grandfather. Si- yeah, creepy grandfather who's still single. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, it's it's a tough scene, but yeah. First he approaches me like a couple days prior to this event we're about to talk about. But I'm like doing carries. Yeah. And then he just comes up, he's like, just says something. I I had my I headphones and I couldn't hear jack shit. And it's just like yeah. just says like, oh, that, I'm like yeah yeah just, you know they just acknowledged it <laughs> okay just like yeah this old man's saying something to me but i'm working out so yeah. i'm just gonna continue I'll and then you. and then i like loop back around because he's in the way of my turf and it's just like it's okay I have your secrets so i'm like what before i could even really register because i just kind of like <laughs> and then like by the time i reacted to it i was like doing my cares i'm like what the fuck did he just say <laughs> what did he just say but yeah and then we we're all we we're working out in the morning. Yeah. A couple days later. We're working out in the morning. We go to the locker room. We're in the locker room doing our things, getting ready to go in the sauna, you know? And then he walks up to us, butt ass naked. Dick, well, not on the floor, more of trying to pin itself to his body. And then he's one of those old guys who will just walk up to you naked where it's like, yes, my ball slack now hangs lower than my dick. And then you have to deal with that image. He walks up. He's like here to here to me. So I'm like, first of all, get the fuck away from me. And then he's just like, do you guys shop at the same store? I'm like, oh, my God. Do two people who work out both shop at Under Armour? Yeah. Yeah the biggest mm-hmm. workout clothing brand in the world besides nike and adidas like how could we were you wearing, guess that i was wearing i think an orange under armor shirt you were wearing what a blue one i was wearing a bright pink one and you were wearing a dark orange one yeah dark orange and pink then we're just wearing it's an under armor shirt so it's like and the logo is like the small too it's, it's like a fuck, small this logo on my just sweatshirt a, yeah it's just a logo and then he's just and then he's just like oh you're gonna shop at the same place and just like <laughs> i was like yeah yeah i guess yeah i guess we do yeah under armor and then you felt the need to do that while your dick is pinned to your body and this is the other thing i can't handle is he doesn't hold his towel you know in front of himself he holds it on his arm to the side <laughs> and then you're just like oh okay that's how it's gonna be and then he would um he walked up to my girlfriend one time and he was just like do you go to school yeah, see, he's yeah. one of those guys. <laughs> yeah. One of those guys that goes up to the to the girl. It's like, oh, you uh, you go to school? Oh, what are you studying? Yeah. And it's just, it only, that's the only vibe. Like, they're not saying it like that. They're saying a lot more like, oh, you go to college? Yeah. You know, just get all, like, weird about it. And 